Fritillarias areas are some of the most unique bulbs for spring blooming that we have in our collection at Harvesting History and that are offered anywhere in the United States. They are, in many cases, incredibly exotic. Oftentimes, they don't resemble each other cultivar to cultivar. Many people think they're difficult to grow and that they don't come back the next year. They are actually not difficult to grow and they will come back, but you have to acknowledge a little secret about these bulbs. Each fritillaria bulb, no matter how small, has a concavity and you have to make sure that the concavity is planted so that rain cannot get into that concavity and cause the bulb to rot. So you always want to plant the concavity on its side or facing somewhat down. So that means that the bulb in all likelihood will be facing, will be planted on its side and facing slightly downward on the concavity side. Fertile areas can look like grasses. They can be more opulent than most tulips. They come in tiny sizes and in very large plants. You really need at least 10 for most fertile areas. And in some cases, you have to have 25 bulbs in order to have a presence in your garden. We are in the process of building our video collection of fritillarias, areas. And we hope that you'll come back to us each year and enjoy what new additions we have to our video collection. So take a chance and try a fritillaria in your garden and learn how to grow these magnificently exotic flowers. I hope you enjoy our fritillaria collection. If you have enjoyed this video, please come to our website, www.harvesting-history.com, where you can purchase heirloom, non-GMO vegetables, flowers, and herbs. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends our channel. On the left side of your screen, there is our most recent video. And on the right side of your screen is one of our playlists. We are Harvesting History, Seeding the Future.